Hey guys, I'm Heather from the Friendship Factory and welcome to the 25 day Christmas craft challenge where we challenge you to make as many crafts as you can for your family and friends this holiday season 2014. It's a lot of fun to make a do-it-yourself gift and they really appreciate it so much because you put your heart into it and that's what counts the most. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a DIY ornament. Super easy, super fun, kind of messy which is cool because everyone likes messy. It's a lot of fun and it's just beautiful because you can put it in any room in your house. It looks great on the tree. It's a great gift for someone because you can put pictures inside of it and you can customize it any way you want with spray paint and make it look beautiful. You just need a few things to start this project. You will need some balloons. I got the nine inch round balloons. It doesn't matter which color because you're just going to end up popping them. You'll need half a cup of cornstarch, four ounces of Elmer's glue. You can use any other type of glue too, but I like Elmer's the most. You'll need a bunch of twine, depending on how many ornaments you want to make, but I got these two rolls for pretty cheap. You'll need some scissors. You'll need a mixing bowl and a paintbrush. I think using a big paintbrush is the best. And then you'll need some spray paints. I chose white, red, and glitter just so that I could make it look really Christmassy. But if you wanna do this for like a year round gift, like you could totally do it for a birthday or something so that they can decorate their room. And you can use different colors of spray paint as well. Okay, so your first step is to put four ounces of Elmer's glue, a half a cup of cornstarch, and one fourth cups of warm water into a mixing bowl and then mix it together with your paintbrush just like this so I already got mine ready and what you're going to do is you're going to make sure that it's all mixed together the cornstarch gets a little bit sticky at the bottom but that's okay the reason why we're using cornstarch instead of just glue is because it's gonna make it stiff so after Christmas you'll be able to put these into a box and it'll be okay for next Christmas instead of it crushing all of them and them turning out bad for next year you can actually use these year after year so it's perfect next you're going to take your balloons and you are going to blow them up now I would blow these up on camera but for whatever reason I can't blow up a balloon I thought that I could but I can't so I actually had my boyfriend blow these ones up for me thank you very much for doing that for me and this is the size that I want mine but you can have bigger ornaments if you want to make really cool like decor for your bedroom or for your best friend's bedroom or anyone that you love you can actually make bigger ones and they look super cool you just need a lot of twine for that and you can hang and dangle like little charms from them or anything that you want maybe pictures from my image button maker that would be really cool but for today I'm just making ornaments so I want them about this size but you can make them smaller or bigger whatever you would like and then now we can start coating them with the glue and the twine next you're going to take your twine that's on the roll and you are going to tie a knot around the top of the balloon And then you're going to begin wrapping the twine all the way around the balloon in like different patterns. So it can look a little chaotic, but it'll be really pretty. So you're just going to kind of wrap it around there in all different directions so that it looks kind of filled up. And just keep doing that. When you're finished wrapping the twine around the balloon and it looks all wild and crazy like this, you're just going to cut off that twine and you can kind of tuck it underneath some of the other twines pieces and kind of hide it. So I just did that with mine and if, even if there's an end poking out a little bit, that's okay too. And now you're just going to cover your whole entire balloon with the glue. You mostly want to get it onto the twine, not just on the balloon, because it kind of wastes the glue. So you're going to try to just put it all over the twine 
and it doesn't matter if you put it underneath of it it's totally okay but just coat the whole balloon this is the messiest part of the project because you get your hands all gluey just make sure that you lay something down I laid down a um, paper bag so that I didn't get glue all over everything because I'm really messy but um, make sure you lay something down for that and then just use a paintbrush and paint all the way around the whole entire balloon So you'll leave these ornaments overnight to dry. You can either hang them up from something or you can set them on a paper bag. And if a little bit of the paper bag rips off, it's okay. It'll totally come off really easy. And then they are going to look like this. They're gonna be really stiff and you have to pop the balloon that's on the inside. So what I did is I used a sharp knife from the kitchen and then it just pops just like that. And you're going to remove all of the balloon that's on the inside of it really super easy it doesn't really stick to it that much which I was surprised with and you're just gonna take that out of there and sometimes when you tie the top it'll get stuck like that and you can just use your scissors and kind of take it off just like that and then it comes out really pretty like that and then you can use your spray paint so like I said I got a bunch of different colors of spray paint and this is my red one so this turned out really cool and I love it so much it just looks so crazy and awesome and you can make so many different colors of these they're so beautiful you could put extra glitter on them so like when they're in the glue process when it's still wet you could put extra glitter and it looks so fancy and pretty and these are just perfect for your tree because you can make them any color that you want i hope you enjoyed the craft we made today if you love crafting as much as we do, make sure you check out all of our Choose Friendship products. And to enter to win the ultimate craft prize valued over $300, just follow this link below. We wish you a very happy holiday season and always choose friendship.